Hi, my name is Jocelyn and welcome back to my channel. Today we are hitting up some thrift stores. I'm here nice and early at the first stop, Goodwill. This Goodwill is pretty much downtown, so we'll see what we can find. I think it's a popular one for donations, so I'm hoping... That's a nice chair. I see someone donating. Um, but yeah, so we're looking for a couple of things on my thrift list still. Um, we're starting to transition into spring here in North Carolina, so definitely looking for some spring outfits. Let's see what I have on my thrift list. All right, we are looking for a rain jacket, linen shirts, black loafers, or like some black flat sort of more professional or fancy shoes, always denim, a chunky white cardigan, a crochet purse, towel hooks in a coat rack, organization baskets, floor lamps. I'm looking for a shelf for my bathroom. I'm also looking for a wooden stool, so I'll add that to the list. I feel like that's pretty good, but I'm open to seeing what the thrift gods will deliver today, so with those things in mind, let's go check out the first stop. We are starting off this thrift trip pretty hot. These loafers were very cute, but the slip-on wasn't exactly the style I was looking for, and they were kind of small. I am also on the hunt for some spring bags, crochet ones. Those ones weren't quite it. And I thought these messenger bags were really interesting and cute, but not necessarily something I would use. I check out the home goods before I do clothes because I don't like leaving my cart outside the dressing room with all my good home finds in it where you can't like watch it with your eyes. So I'm just going through the home stuff before clothes and I thought this pillow was really cute um, but I was not a fan of those flowers and they were glued on. We're moving on to the clothes. This jacket was pretty sick but a smaller size. You can see the Goodwill here is a pretty decent size. There's a lot to go through and I went right when it opened so it wasn't too busy but it ended up getting busier. I really liked this floral shirt so I put it in my cart to try on later. I feel like when I go to the thrift store these days I'm trying to strike a balance between pieces that are really interesting and unique and would add depth to my wardrobe and also pieces that I would wear consistently so there's a balance to be found between the pieces that I'm initially attracted to versus the pieces that I would actually wear. Also, this Goodwill didn't have carts to use, so it made kind of collecting pieces and filming them at the same time a little difficult. So I appreciate your patience kind of going through this footage, but now we are moving into the dressing room and the person before me left some really cute pieces in here, but unfortunately none of them were winners for me. I'm just showing you guys what I wore to the thrift store today and we are jumping right into trying on some spring dresses. This was actually a pantsuit and I didn't love the fit. It was definitely a little tight, but the color was kind of what I'm looking for for spring. The low back was really fun, but I just couldn't figure out what was up with the straps and how you would actually wear the piece, so I left this behind. For some reason, I decided to wear a sports bra to try on dresses, and this dress shows why that's a bad idea. I really liked the color and the style of this dress, but it was just a little too big. I thought that it would be a nice, comfortable, casual dress to wear, kind of more professionally to the office and in the fall, um, but this one wasn't it. And this is the slightly tighter and lighter version of that other dress and I didn't love the color even though the fit was a little better. I'm not sure how flattering the pleats in the front is for me. This beachy dress was pretty cute and again I didn't love it. I tried to see if I would like it more without that sort of top piece but overall it just uh, wasn't the dress for me so I left it for someone else to find and to love. I really liked the simple cut of this dress. It's definitely something that I'm looking for, but this was too small, and I also thought that maybe if the hem was a little higher, it would kind of be a better silhouette. This next dress was very pretty, but I think that I would have preferred it to either be full length or a little shorter. Even off the sleeves, it was cute, but not necessarily something I would wear. Um, 
so I ended up leaving this one behind as well. The thing about thrifting is that for every dress you try on that's too small, you also try on dresses that are too big. I really liked the silhouette of this dress with the umpire sort of um, seam, but there was no way to cinch the dress in at that point and create shape. And overall, there was just too much material here and it just didn't end up flattering me, but I love sort of white light dresses like this for spring and summer. Since I've been doing a lot of projects around the house, like painting, and we just repainted our bathroom, I thought that some overalls would be kind of sick, and these overalls came with sweet tarts, so you know that that's even more appealing to me. Um, but I actually love the way these fit, and they're just going to be so great for doing errands and activities around the house. Next I tried on the floral blouse that I showed you guys earlier and I really loved the way this blouse hung. I felt like it was professional but also effortless. It could be dressed up or dressed down. I loved the color pattern and just the overall fit of this piece is exactly what I look for in a shirt. I experimented with this tunic or is it supposed to be a dress? Um, is it supposed to be on the shoulder, off the shoulder? There was something fun and effortless and bohemian about it that I really liked, but in terms of styling it and the way it fit, there was some, there were some issues with the piece, but I tried to make it work with the pants I was wearing, and I also tried it on with a couple other skirts that I found to see kind of what I thought about it. I thought this skirt was really cute. I loved the light pink color and the shape, and it's actually from Abercrombie, so I thought that was a good high value piece. And the shirt looks really cute, kind of tucked up like this with that skirt. Um, but eventually the shirt just, as I was wearing it and trying it on, the sleeves started to bunch up and it just became really uncomfortable. So. That's also a good tip is to kind of wear pieces for longer if you can to see how they actually fit over time because sometimes things look good in the mirror but don't look good throughout the day. And those last three skirts along with this skirt just didn't quite fit the way I wanted them to so I ended up leaving them behind along with this absolutely atrocious pair of pants. <laughs> Okay, so Goodwill was pretty successful. We saw a lot of cute things, tried on some dresses, but none of them really worked the way I wanted them to. But we did leave with three things, so that is exciting. I'm going to literally drive one minute to the left, and we're going to check out the other thrift store in our area. This thrift store is a local thrift store to Raleigh. It is Cause for Paws. It is a Humane Society based thrift store and they have amazing deals, amazing pieces of furniture and really good pricing. So I am obsessed with this store. That cabinet was beautiful. This dresser was beautiful. They have really gorgeous antique pieces and these end tables were very interesting along with this little pedestal table but not quite my vibe um but really amazing and awesome pieces to look at lots of wicker furniture and just so much variety here they also have cats and kittens to look at which is very cute and fun and it's always fun to see the kitties at this store there were also a lot of mirrors here. I definitely should have come here when I was remodeling the bathroom, so I'll have to for the next one. And the lamp selection was also pretty good, but no floor lamps that really spoke to me. This lampshade I thought was pretty cool, along with this one with a really nice uh, topper. And man, do they have a lot of baskets. The home decor section today really came through. Um, this little basket is great for organizing things in a drawer. That other little basket would have been cute for toilet paper, but seemed a little unnecessary. Um, so I did leave that little toilet paper one behind and opted for the square one. They also had a wicker laundry basket, which I've been looking for for so long. So definitely pick that up. And that's what I used for a cart since there were not very many carts when I got there. 
I thought this sailboat decor piece was really cute, would have been very cute in a little kid's room. Um, and so cute that I thought slow-mo would be a great way to film it. <laughs> I also came across this shelf which had unfortunately seen better days but is kind of what I'm looking for in terms of a shelf with coat hook options. This plant stand was super cool but not for $15 and they just had some really interesting and unique pieces at the thrift store today. Things I have literally never seen before in my life so I was very impressed and excited to dig through all the goodies they had today like this coat hook towel rack sort of thing i regret not picking this up and i actually went back to look for it and someone had already snagged it so that was my loss um this candlestick holder was pretty cute. There were just a lot of really unique and quality pieces at the thrift store today. There's always amazing vases and things like that. Like this crock. Um, it should have come with the lid, so I did leave it behind. And this vase, I'm a sucker for pottery, so I'm always looking and being drawn to the pottery. This one was dirty and it wasn't coming off easily, so I did end up leaving this behind as well, even though it was a very beautiful piece. And you know the drill, after I looked through the home decor, I decided to look through clothes, and this sweater was calling my name, this little crop top called my name. Um, it has a really kind of modern fit that I liked. This pattern skirt, I swear, is always here, and I love the pattern, but it's just too big for me, so maybe I'll have to get it and take it in. The denim section is also always abundant, but there were no gems today, and this is what the dressing room looks like. It is just kitty and dog posters everywhere. Very cute. I tried on these pair of black flare leggings that were pretty comfortable and cute, but they were like a velour sort of pattern, and just not really something that I needed. This pair of denim was too small and too short, so I did leave these behind. And next I tried on this really pretty knit yellow dress, and I really loved the cut and the silhouette, but again, it was just too big in the, um, I guess, band width. Um, but definitely one of the better fitting dresses I tried on that day, but nonetheless, not quite the right fit for me. I feel like looking back in the video, when I try on something I like, you can see it in my eyes, and there was just something so fun and bright about this sweater that I was feeling it. <laughs> and this top was a great just layering piece for summer, so I thought, what's the harm in picking it up? I thought that it was a good length, and I really like the square neckline. This top, while similar to the last one, there was something about this shirt that just, with the cutout, even though it covered more skin, it just felt more sort of clubbing like and less sort of versatile so I did leave it behind but this little button-up sweater I thought was really cute and comfortable I liked the v-neck and the ribbed material so I did end up picking up this sweater as well I tried on this gauzy sort of imitation linen blouse and I thought it would be fun and light for spring but I just didn't love the fit of it. I'm not sure like what was wrong about it, but something about it left things to be desired, so I did end up leaving the shirt behind. See, you can see to my face I'm not into it. This sweater was too small and the <laughs> the pocket was well up the top of my chest, so it just didn't fit. But I loved the uh, laid back energy it gave me and that was the last piece I tried on at this thrift store. <laughs> Hi everyone, so it's the next day and I'm back home here to show you all the goodies I got at the thrift store this weekend. 
I kept all my receipts here to tell you exactly what I got and how much everything cost. I do love the thrift stores here in North Carolina because things are usually really affordable and that's definitely reflected through what I was able to pick up this weekend. First, I got this pair of Old Navy overalls. They were $5.19 and they are the perfect pair of overalls. They are just my size. They have plenty of work pockets. They're already lovingly worn in and I just can't wait to have something to wear to do projects around the house or outside in the yard. We actually did some yard work the other day and I was able to wear these and feel protected and clean after when I took them off and I was spotless. So very, very happy about this find. At the thrift store, I was definitely looking for spring. Um, here in North Carolina, obviously things are warming up quite a bit and some of the trees are already starting to bud, which is really exciting. Spring is one of my favorite times of year. So I picked up this polyester blouse from Alfred Dunner, which makes me think that the blouse is a vintage shirt. Um, I find a lot of modern or even vintage florals feel really dated. I really love like small printed ditzy florals, which are really fun, but for something that I could also wear to work and wear a little bit more sophisticatedly, I really love the size of this floral and the color combination. The really soft muted colors are definitely in my color family. So I really loved picking up this shirt and I think it'll be a great addition to my wardrobe this spring. And lastly at Goodwill, I got this little suede skirt. I'm not sure if it's genuine suede because it is from Abercrombie. So it could be a faux suede. Someone had cut the material label out of the garment, so I wasn't able to tell exactly what the material is, but it does feel like a suede. I thought this light pink color was very pretty, very spring, very girly and feminine, and I honestly thought that this, this color combo and outfit combination would be a really cute like girls brunch outfit. So it's nice to have a couple of dressier pieces in my wardrobe, and I thought this one would be a great addition. I also had a light pink skirt in college and I wore it all the time, so I'm thinking that this one will be no exception. Both the skirt and the blouse from Goodwill were $4.19, so really affordable for pieces of this quality. Next, we went to Cause for Paws Thrift Store, which is such a cute thrift store. I really love the variety of goods they have there. They have a lot of home decor, they have a lot of furniture, and a good amount of clothes. And I didn't go into the books section today, but they have some really beautiful vintage books that just feel so special when you look at them. So I really love that thrift store a lot, especially seeing all the cute kitties in there. So they have an amazing deal every weekend where clothes are buy free, get one free. So I'll go through clothes first and then we can wrap up with home decor. First things first, I got this watermelon zip up hoodie. I don't normally gravitate towards colors this bright, but pink and green were my favorite braces combo when I was 12. So this sweater just feels really fun and youthful and reminds me of the beach and being a child. So thankfully it's not a child's hoodie. It's actually an adult. Um, you can see that it's likely a vintage brand. It is 80% cotton, 20% polyester and yeah, I just, it just reminded me of summer and I can't wait to wear this on chillier nights by the beach or by the lake and just kind of start living in the zip up. The sweater was $4.79 and it was actually 30% off. So that was less $1.44, meaning that the sweater was $3.35. The next top I got was this Gap Fit tank top. It is cropped and just really great for working out. I thought that it was just a fun, easy, casual piece. I'm definitely looking to add more basics to my wardrobe so I can kind of style things day to day a little easier. And this was just really soft and comfortable. It was $3.79 and 30% off, so it was... Let's do some quick mental math. So this was 265. That's crazy. Was it really? 
Wow. Okay. And then I also got this crop top. This shirt is from Shein, which I don't, I never buy Shein or fast fashion new these days. I always, always try and shop secondhand first and making sure to pick out really quality pieces of secondhand. Thankfully, the construction of this one seemed okay, and the ribbed fabric feels sort of substantial. Again, this was just a shirt that I was looking to kind of style more basics with, and it'll be really great transitioning into the warmer months. And this shirt was also $3.79. And then in order to pick up something for free, I picked out this Banana Republic ribbed sweater. It had these really cute button details down the front, less cardigan-like and more sweater-like for sure. Um, it was... Free. This sweater was free. Yeah, I thought it was just another great sweater that I could wear casually, but also could be dressed up for work. So that was a great free purchase. And last but not least, I did pick up a couple of baskets. This first basket was 99 cents. I thought it would be really great in a drawer just to collect some like items together. I'll probably use it in the kitchen with some of my dog's medicines and treats and kind of start to corral things in that drawer because that drawer's a little crazy. And the last thing I found was this wicker laundry basket. I have been on the lookout for a laundry basket like this for a while since the one I'm currently using is really large and awkward and plastic and difficult to carry up and down stairs. So this one is absolutely amazing. There were actually two wicker baskets at the thrift store and I saw the other one first and picked it up and noticed it was $15, which isn't necessarily the worst price for a basket and I was willing to pay it. But then I saw this basket, which was the exact same basket for $7.99. So I swapped them out and decided to take this one home and it was worth every penny being only $8. So I've loved this. I've used it so much to just bring stuff from one room to the other. It inspires me to do laundry because I feel like a garden fairy <laughs> doing it. Um, so really, really happy about this find and very happy to retire the other laundry basket. So that was everything I found this weekend thrifting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to like it. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me, be sure to subscribe. I'm putting out a video every single week this year and I'm very excited to have you along on the journey with me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.